Welcome back to Shredder Speedway Race Fans. We are here to do the Ford Fan Duel Championship Celebration Laps. Uh, not necessarily a race, we're just going to do a few laps with uh, some of these championship cars here in our top four cars. And I will show you those cars. And we'll get this underway. This Ford Pan Duel was a big long race. And we have gotten down to our champions. And those champions are in first place is Numskull. Second place was Victor Fastlane. Third place was our very own Pinky Tuscadero from Shutter Speedway. Fourth place was Sneaky Bob. And Numskull's second car here, this orange one, was a track record breaking car that didn't even make it to the finals. But that car has just blown away our track record here at Shredder Speedway. So we just wanted to do uh, some little victory lap celebrations. Uh, I'd like to uh, thank Sneaky Bob, Victor Fastlane, and Numskull for their patience in us getting to this final race. Um, we will get these cars and their prize packages sent off soon. So, uh, again, this is just some victory lap stuff. Uh, no particular winners or losers here. And uh, we're just going to run a few cars. And we want to see if Numskull's car here that didn't make it into the finals but blew away the track record here. We'll see if he can't beat the track record that he has set this far. So here we go. Let's get him underway and do a little quick race. We'll start him out with Numskull and Victor Fastlane. And we'll do Pinky and Sneaky Bob. And we'll finish it up. Probably with Numskull and Numskull racing against each other. Looking for a better time from Numskull that he, again, just blew away our track record. Track record champion right there will probably hold for quite some time. And that is Numskull set the track record at a 5.323. An unheard of track record here at Shredder Speedway. So let's get him underway. All right, here we go. First up, numbskull on the inside, picture fast lane outside. Ready, go. And that green one of numbskull is bringing it in quick. Look at that. Another 5.366 from numbskull's green car. Great qualifying time. Qualifying. Great time. And it looks like Victor Fastlane parked it in, dead man's curve. We'll try them again. All right, we swapped them lanes. See what they got. Ready, go. I'm still looking for the pass. Can't get around. And tight, close little race. A little slower times on that. All right, we'll run them one last time. And that was one and one. We're in a sudden death. Roger likes our sudden deaths. All right, ready? This is it. Go. Little video technical difficulties. Let's try this one again. Here we go. Ready? Go. <laughs> Green one of Numskull. 5.559. And Victor Fastlane with a 6.004. And that brings Numskull in for the win on that one. There is no winners and losers here, guys. This is just our championship celebration laps here. And just for a little fun, uh, Numskull in that green car uh, got real close. Again, that 5.3 here is been unheard of until we got numbskull in here uh but uh he uh ran a good lap there let's see what uh pinky and sneaky bob can do together here 
All right, the first lap. Pinky on the inside, sneaky Bob outside. Ready? Go. Sneaky Bob sneaks around Pinky like a bullet. 5.624 from Sneaky Bob. Great little run. Sneaky Bob's car has been a fast one in this race. He was our fourth place champion. Let's do him again, see what we got. All right, Sneaky Bob took that one from the outside lane with a great pass. Let's see what he does on this one. Ready, go. Flying, flying. 5.709 for Sneaky Bob. And that's two wins for Sneaky Bob. That is a nice, quick car. I don't know what it is about these Thunderbird Stockers, but they are quite the fast cars. All right, guys, we're going to come down to this last one here is Numskull and Numskull. And his orange car has the track record, which his green car almost caught up with right there. And we're going to see what happens here. Numskull and Numskull. Green car inside, orange car outside. Ready? Go. Wow, incredibly crazy fast. And the orange one is going to bring it in in reverse. Looks like we got the green one off track. We'll try them again. All right, we're going to do this one again. Same lane here. All we're looking for is Numskull's crazy faster than ever speed he's got in these two cars and uh can he beat his own track record that would be amazing here we go try him again in this lane we'll do one more ready go that green was blue sideways down oh and it brings him in slower times there get a little squirrely 6.460 on the green 6.694 on the orange Try them again, switch them lanes. Okay, here we go. That orange car inside lane is our track record holder here. Let's see if he can beat out his green one. Here we go, numbskull and numbskull. Ready, go. Oh, both coming in quick. Oh, and we get a little sideways on Dead Man's Curve and a 6.224. Slow times, let's do them one more time. Get some good race times out of this. I don't think he'll ever beat that track record time he's got. Let's try him again. All right, guys, this is it. This is the last of the Ford FanDuel celebration laps here. This has been a great race, and again, Numbskull's crazy track record I don't think will ever get broken. So here we go, one last race. Ready? Go. And there comes that fast time. Ooh, a 5.409. And just uh, to talk about it here, 5.409 was our first track record breaking time that Sneaky Bob himself had turned in uh, one of our earlier races uh, until Numskull came back and blew that away with that 5.323. But there it is. Numskull, still our track record holder. And gets a little upside down back here in the curve. Uh, but man, guys, this has been a great fun race. Uh, again, uh, thanks for your patience to Sneaky Bob, uh, Victor Fastlane, and Numskull for uh, all the time that it has taken us this summer to get back to this final little race. We appreciate you guys racing with us, and uh, we'll see you all again soon. Thanks again. We'll see you all soon.